Come on, Nate, man. Come on, baby. Man, we need to see his trainers. Where's his trainers at that was training little bro, man? What do you want to prove? Uh, I'm just one of the greatest athletes to ever walk on earth. So 2020 has been an unpredictable year for a lot of different reasons. I don't think I have to go in depth on why 2020 has necessarily been unpredictable. I never thought I would see Jake Paul fighting Nate Robinson and I also never thought I would say the name Jake Paul on my channel. This is a basketball channel. We discuss things related to basketball and basketball news, no matter how outlandish it necessarily might be. And it just so happens this Jake Paul, Nate Robinson fight kind of falls under the umbrella that we get to cover. So I do think this is fun and this is going to be a fun video. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a video I would have made last night, but I actually needed time to process everything that happened over the past 24 hours because it just really did not feel real. And I'm sure I can't be the only person that feels this way. If you feel this way also, or felt this way, comment in the comments down below. The Nate Robinson and Jake Paul fight wasn't even the craziest moment of the night. It was a warm up for Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. Super nostalgic right there, it was a great fight. We'll talk more about this as the video progresses. And also a lot of people got a lot of memes off last night. Everybody was funny on Twitter. It was kind of insane to see. And also one of those guys getting jokes off on Twitter was Stephen Curry. He actually turned on Nate Robinson. Before we go any further, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You will not want to miss another Get Like Coop video. And that's facts. Guys, I'm going to start streaming a ton this upcoming week. NBA 2K21 Next Gen. I have the win rate. I've got the logo. You guys are going to enjoy the streams if you do happen to come by. So be sure to follow my stream. The link is going to be in the description below. And we'll also be playing more games than just NBA 2K21. Trust me, guys. Now, also, you'll find the link to my football channel in the description below. About to start going hard over there. You will not want to miss a video. Lastly, be sure to like this video because this isn't the typical type of video that I would make. So liking this video will definitely help out a ton. Now, before we really get into the video, I have to take a minute and show Nate Robinson some love. I want you guys in the comments below to say, good fight, Nate, because at the end of the day, it was entertaining. He didn't probably want it to just be an entertaining fight. He definitely wanted to win especially after what I'm going to tell you guys, but it was entertaining and that's really good enough for me. Having the courage to step in the ring with somebody is a W, so let's get some W's in the comments for Nate Robinson. It really feels like I'm sh like this is a stream right now, but it's not an actual video. Now again, Nate Robinson is a W. This guy is five foot nine, five foot eight, somewhere in that general area, right? Makes it to the NBA, doesn't just make it to the NBA, has a phenomenal career. This guy's got multiple slam dunk titles. He's been a key contributor for many different teams. And he's been one of the most explosive guys under six foot that I have ever seen play the game of basketball. He has given us phenomenal highlights, including the time he blocked Yao Ming. So Nate Robinson is somebody that has had to overcome all odds multiple times in his career. And if he does decide to continue boxing, I think I think he has the potential to overcome again. Now, this should also be a lesson for anybody that wants to take boxing seriously or wants to box at all. It's not easy. It's not easy to just switch sports. There's a lot of people that dedicate their lives to playing these sports. Boxing is not street fighting. MMA is not street fighting. If you step into the ring with a street fighting mindset, you could end up getting seriously hurt. And boxing and MMA, things like that are sports where you don't really have a large margin for error. You throw the wrong punch, you dodge the wrong way, you know, you can end up seriously getting hurt. We've seen street fighters before have a tough time. And I'm not saying Nate's like a street fighter, but we've seen street fighters before have a tough time adjusting to the MMA boxing format. Now that we have that out of the way, Nate Robinson was actually doing this for a pretty legit reason. I showed you guys at the start of the video Nate Robinson really wants to prove he's one of the greatest athletes 
to ever walk the face of the earth. Unfortunately, this was a step. I'm not going to say in the wrong direction because to become the greatest athlete, you have to try everything. I'm not sure Michael Jordan picked up a basketball and was like, hey, I'm Michael Jordan. What he did do was he put in hours and hours of work to become one of the greatest athletes slash basketball players ever. Now, Michael Jordan playing baseball? Yeah, we're just going to skip that topic. If Nate really does want to be one of the best athletes ever, I think the fight was a step in the right direction because you have to fail sometimes in order to succeed. It might sound dumb, but failing can definitely make you stronger. For all the shots you miss, you better be working harder than ever to make sure you make that next one. So before the fight, Nate posted this to Twitter. Tonight I'm fighting for my brothers in the NBA, athletes across the world, and most importantly, my children, Tyson Jones. Hold that. Steph quote tweeted him, showing his support, saying, let's go Nate Robinson, hold it down. Nate replied with, gonna shock the world, bro. Nate would go on to lose the fight and pandemonium would break loose. I still can't believe this happened. Steph Curry responded to this tweet once the fight was over. Emphasis on the fight was over. Nate had lost. Curry said, I see no lies. Straight savage from Stephen Curry. I might even call it a little bit of a low blow. It might be a low blow. Kind of crazy. Again, all of Twitter was getting jokes off on Nate. Joel Embiid said night night. Bradley Beal said dog. Nick Young said that was no representation of the NBA family. Andre Guadawa had one of the better ones where he said, come on, Craig. Dikembe Mutombo was even like my brother Nate. J.R. Smith said, Jake Paul though, Thaddeus Young came in with, damn Nate, down goes Frazier. Evan Turner said, I want to fight Jake Paul, which he later kind of backtracked. It was a savage night all around. I cannot emphasize that enough. Though Trey Young did come in with some words of encouragement saying, Nate, still a three times dunk champ. Now, if there's any good ones I missed, be sure to comment those down below now when it was all over when the fight was all said and done and you know everything kind of blew over nate robinson said thank you everyone for all of the well wishes i'm okay i appreciate triller for the opportunity as well as everyone that has backed me during the fight to my coaches trainers fans and teammates i appreciate all of the time and support you guys put in with me it wasn't the outcome that we wanted but i'm thankful for the opportunity to fight on the biggest stage that there has been I think Nate's taking everything like a champ. I really don't feel like he's asking for anybody's pity. He went on on IG again to thank everybody and say he's going to come back stronger and even better. Now, if he's referencing another fight, I truly don't know because I found this quote where he says he could do every sport again. If there's an opportunity to come around that involves him playing baseball, he's going to do it. Soccer, he's going to do it. Soccer to football, it doesn't matter. Again, Nate's somebody that wants to show everybody he's this phenomenal athlete. And honestly, I've watched enough Nate Robinson basketball to already know the type of athlete he truly is. And can we please get Snoop to commentate some NBA games? I've never seen or heard such a perfect commentary from anybody before. Clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support the channel. I'm Get Like Coop bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.